Hello, guys. Yeah, this evening, guys, uh, I want to film this new vinyl record that I bought from Nina Simone. Feeling good, her greatest hits. So for some of you guys probably don't know Nina Simone. Um, he's an old performer. He's a very good singer back then. And this is the vinyl record. It's red. And that makes it look so different from my other records. Because original records, guys, it's definitely like this. And this one, it's red. So this is the first time I bought a record that it's red. And... It's it's a good looking record, and uh, I got this today, and I want to listen to uh, you know this record because um, I don't have Nina Simone uh, vinyl record. So here, guys, I'm using a Realistic Lab 400 Direct Automatic Turntable. And these are made in Japan, guys. And as I said, uh, most of my stereos are made in Japan. And that's the only thing I buy when it's made in Japan. So how would you know that it's made in Japan? It's very simple, guys. You go in the back of this turntable, spin it around, and you will see all the things that it's re written here. And you will see, find where is it made. And it's going to say made in Japan. It's not a, it's not a bad uh, turntable, guys. But this is not one of those uh, expensive, expensive turntable. This is not Marantz uh, 6100 or 6300. But they kind of look identical because the wood, they look similar. And the thing that is different when it comes to here, okay? And the logo, if you check the video or uh, you go to Google and type in Marantz 6300, 60, you will see the difference. And this, uh, um, the cartridge, okay? And uh, the shell, okay? Um, it's gonna, it's silver. And it says Marantz, so that's the only difference about um, the Marantz and the Realistic. Um, there's few more that it's different about Realistic and Marantz, like the knobs, you know, and the tone arm is different and other things. The only thing that they look similar is the wood case, wood, wood uh, um, frame, yeah, and... Uh, the sound okay definitely the Marantz 6100 or 6300 um, they sound amazing but this one is not bad at all guys I mean if I'm gonna let you listen to it see you heard the sound and uh, I cannot play a long uh, play because um, YouTube doesn't uh, tolerate that anymore, okay? So, we don't want, uh, you know, um, YouTube to to say about, you know, um, about the owner of this uh, song. And they call it copyright. So, I don't want to, you know... Um, I don't want any complaints from YouTube. So, and this is some, some of my records here, guys. These are new, new records. I have jazz, you know, all these records here. And some of them are up here. Okay. And my speaker. This speaker, they are Bose and they sound amazing. Yeah. So I love the sound of this turntable and my speakers. 
and you can always find a good turntable guys and pay low price and still save money you just gotta take your time and you know um, learn how to buy where to buy turntables that you can save money okay um, like if you see in my previous video you will see when I talk about speakers and how to save money and how to save money when you buy stereos you know from receivers and, or amplifiers and this time I want to talk about turntables where to find a good turntable for a low cost of um, money okay you can go to uh, Facebook market download the apps offer up and uh, go to flea market or garage sale I bet you there's a lot of there's people that sell their turntables they don't want to uh, you know they don't want to listen to it anymore um, you go to flea market there's a lot of the people there that they sell their turntables um, or the cleaners they go to somebody's house and they clean their premises and they the owner don't care about their turntables anymore or the other reasons is because sometimes you know when they want to sell their house um, ASAP because you know like today the inflation um, it's kicking and it's bad it's badly you know it's kicking badly and a lot of people are selling their house and you know they want to they want to get the money and they want to buy a small house because you know the inflation the the you know um, the economy and this you know those cleaners guys they clean those houses and you know they let go their stuff the owners let go their stereos or speakers you name it receivers amplifiers equalizers turntables cd players you name it and because their mind is somewhere you know they want to they're thinking about you know um selling their house asap and their their minds are all all over the place because sometimes you know um people are in big you know trouble like you know um debts okay um when people are in 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 debts uh a lot of money are involved they owe a lot of money to the banks they buy brand new cars they're financing the car or cars um, you know, use credit cards they you know they own a lot of money for their houses because back then they bought a big house and now you know um, they get laid off from work so this is the story of the scenarios about why you know um, those cleaners are very lucky when they clean somebody's house it's because they um, get all this vintage stereos you know from turntables to equalizer to receivers um, amplifiers and to speakers and then they go to flea market and they start selling it so you can get a, a good turntable from flea market and always always guys when you go to flea market when you see something there like turntables for example like this always negotiate okay don't let them fool you don't let them you know get you with your money because that is your money money is important than anything else you know um you can buy anything with money but you know merchandise can't buy anything so that is why some of them they want to sell it for low price because they just want to let it go they know it's free they know they they just got it from somebody and or out on the streets that people throw it away and they sell it in the flea market but the good thing the good thing to do bring your own kit if you have a, a big power bank uh, yeah, aux cable um, cd player and small amplifier so you can try the turntable okay or uh, amplifier or receiver because you don't want to take that home and you gamble your money and then it doesn't work so I have uh, this uh, 
power bank that I use when I go to the flea market. This is what I use, guys, when I buy uh, my stereos, and I plug this. I plug the receiver here, or the amplifier, or turntables, CD players, you name it, and this thing will uh, run the turntable, uh, equalizers, receivers, amplifiers. Okay, so this is what I use, and I have AUX cable. I have small CD player. Yeah, and I have uh, a small receiver, which is um, my Harman Kardon, and I test it out, and if it works, then I pay the, the seller. So that's how I buy my stuff, because a lot of people out there, guys, even they sell in the flea market, they don't really know if it's working or they didn't even try it because they're so desperate with money, so they don't really care because they have too many things that they wanna sell. They don't have time or they don't wanna put time to plug the turntable and test it out if it's working. So that's the thing, you gotta be careful though. When you're buying stuff, turntables, you name it, equalizer, receivers, amplifiers, speakers, you gotta test it out while you're there in the flea market. Or if you buy it from uh, offer up, you meet the person in, the, in you know in the middle of you know uh, in, in this store, you know check the merchandise, test it out, try it if it's working, and then pay the guy. So these are the things that you can buy stereos without paying shipping and handling, not paying taxes, and you still save money, and doing that guys you can always negotiate and lower the price and that's the good thing buying it from um, facebook market offer up flea market compared to ebay so this is how i do it and this is how i save money yeah so this is nina simone guys This Nina Simone is just amazing. I love her voice and the way she sings and her performance and her style is just awesome. A lot of people, guys, love Nina Simone. You know, um, she's very, uh, she's very good. Yeah. So another video here, guys. Um, today, I mean just filming this uh, new vinyl record that I bought and I put it on the this plastic case so it doesn't damage the cover okay and this is this is our some of my records that I bought and it has a lot of case already these are brand new and those are used some of them has case but uh, some doesn't so so this is uh this is the 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 drinks that I'm taking this that is good it has vodka with a little grapes and ice a little a little grape juice and that definitely will Make me fall asleep and have a good sleep tonight. Yeah. So guys, uh, another video here from my vintage turntable. And excuse my mess because this is how I live. I'm a little messy guy when it comes to my, you know, stereos. And I am not the guy that, you know, very organized and, you know... Um, very clean and stuff so and down here guys i have morants on the bottom here Let's see let me turn it on i do have three morants i'm using one this 1040 for this turntable and i have my other morants here and my other morants on the bottom yeah so that's it, guys. I'm just sharing my uh, simple video here from my 
simple turntable from realistic hope you guys like my video and uh hit the subscribers and hit all and thank you for doing that i really appreciate that and i will see you again next time so for now i'll say bye bye <laughs>